Father Almighty, you are the giver of all good things. And so we thank you that we are here with a rare opportunity to celebrate something that is good and something that is beautiful. And so we count it as a privilege to celebrate with this couple and we ask that as we share with them today that they may feel our joy, our love and our presence, that it may strengthen them as they make this commitment to each other. And so we bless you for the gift of love and we ask that as this couple continue on this journey of love together, that it may bring them to a place where they're always growing towards one another as one being. In Jesus' name, Amen. My dearest Charles Edward, today I marry my best friend. I give you my whole heart forever. I cannot name just one thing that I love about you, about us, because they are all interconnected. I vow to fiercely love you in all your forms now and forever. I promise to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love. I vow to love you and no matter what challenges might carry us apart, we will always find a way back to each other. I take you to be my husband, to hold, to cherish and to love. And even though I'm unsure about most things in life, I'm certain that I love you and will continue to love you forever. Thank you for giving me this lifetime. I love you, Charles Edward, always and forever. All my love, Candace. Candice, I promise to stick with you through all the tough times, however many there may be. I promise to always make us a priority over any and every situation in our lives. No one else will ever replace that priority. I promise I will never let you forget how much I love you. It may not be daily, but it will be forever. I promise I will not lose my identity and to always be me, neither to let you lose yours. I am in this with you till the end, no matter what life may bring. We will get over all these obstacles together and I'll never let you go through anything alone. I would marry you over and over again to preserve my everlasting love for you. Yours forever and always. I love you. Charles, Candice, for as much as you have covenanted together with one another and in the face of this congregation, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no person separate. So I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Zwigala. So